Kill pop blow, kill pop blow, kill pop blow, man. It's the kid AK checking in, man. I'm laying back. It's another hot day, man, in the motherfucking ATL, and I'm just uh checking in. I get man to just fill y'all in on what this new blog is. What I really want to talk about today, man, is uh if I was ever, you know, I'm an independent artist, man, and I look at all the labels in the game. You know, I'm an independent artist that signed to my own label, which is Squat Team Music Group. And I mean, I'm going to be quite honest with y'all. Uh, I look at all the labels out here, man. It, it, it. Cause people always ask me, they like, well, you independent, AK. Like, if you ever was to sign with somebody, like, who would it be? And naturally, I say my own label. I mean, I want to stay with my own label, but, you know, you, you have to think about finances and getting the amount of money that you want to get too sad in the game, you know what I'm saying, like, or, or get with a label, you know, I, I've been doing music for almost 15 years, you know, I've had the luxury of working with everybody, T-Pain, Young Jock, Tyrese, Waka Flocka, Gucci Mane, uh, Franchise, but the damn list goes on, I consider myself, man, regardless of who getting signed right now, I present, uh, consider myself a lot of one nigga that's getting signed, uh, and I see who the freshman guys are here, you know, uh, and, and, and there's a lot of niggas that get situation. I mean, you know, and, 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 you know, God bless them, you know, I ain't mad at them, but I still feel ain't none of them niggas seeing me. Different between me and most of them niggas is too ill, most of them niggas won't even motherfucking ever see a record. They're like, they'll never, it should have never come out. I see Sai the Prince just signed with Kanye West. I see, uh, Meat Mills, uh, Peel. Wale, they signed with Ross. B.O.B. signed with Tip. Uh, Scrappy signed with uh, DTP. But a lot of, some of those artists have already been signed to labels. A lot of folks don't know Meek Mill used to be signed to Grand Hustle. Never came out. B.O.B. didn't need Grand Hustle to come out. Uh, signed the Princess with Kanye, but Kanye done signed about six or seven artists that ain't came out. You know, uh, a lot of these CEOs or, or, or guys who have to remain consistent in the market, music is all is pretty much all they doing. Like, especially like with Kanye, all I really see Kanye do is music. He may do like a lot of other endorsements and shit, but I don't, you know, I don't know. All I know is that he's a primary guy on his label. And with all that being said, like, you got like Young Money and Wayne, he stands behind Nicki Minaj and Drake. But I can honestly be be honest. If I was the ever just looking at the whole game in general, if AK was the ever signed with any label other than my own label, it would have to be SWAT Team Music Group and G Unit. You know what I'm saying? I really got a vast amount of respect for 50 Cent from the business perspective. Uh, I grew up as a guy who really was into Master P, and I see a lot of Master P in 50 Cent. Uh, you know, businessman wise, willing to make a lot of good investments, stands behind his artist, and uh, you know, if I could ever sign to somebody, it would have to be 50. I, I, I honestly can say I've been a solidified 50 fan since 50 dropped. Uh, and you know, man, 50 the guy that people love to hate, man. You know, it is what it is. You know, I mean, what can I say? But I can honestly say that, you know, my album critically acclaimed is in stores right now. You guys can feel free to check that out. You can find it online, iTunes, Rap City, Napster, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And uh, my new album, The Renaissance, drops shortly of eight months after that album dropped. Uh, so it's getting ready to drop, and uh, I'm working on that as well. And I got to have my own film company, so we're working on movies as well. I'm a, I'm a screenwriter and a scriptwriter, so you're going to see a lot coming from me, man. But like I said, man, I have a vast respect, uh, amount of respect for 50 Cent. Uh, if I could ever get my material to him, then that would be like, you know, an honor to me. Uh, other than that, man, you know, everybody else is kind of like, you know, DTP. I have, I have respect for Luda, but I don't like the way Luda market his artists. Uh, I like Jeezy, but you know, you know, G, you know, G. I think Jeezy really 
trying to get himself out right now. I mean, I think that's what Jesus focused on. He may be focused on the label. I don't know. I, I don't know his label situation. I never liked the way Grand Hustle does business. I mean, you know, I don't know the inner working, but I know that Dro ain't been out in six years. Dro had a gold album. I mean, enough said. Uh, everybody else is kind of like whatever slip and slide. You know, they had they run. Maybe at music, I feel like could have been a way better branding campaign on this self-made album with Ross and them. Uh, I'm not dissing. It's just my opinion of, you know, everybody has your, uh, what they call, uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Trial and error. You know, uh, and I like Peel because Peel from Atlanta, and I've heard some of his stuff. Meek Mill, I'm not up on him like I should be. I like Wale. I just think that when I look at the first week numbers, I think that if they would spent a lot more time branding wise, you would push the album back, they would have got a better response. But uh, in result to the, my own question, man, if I could ever sign with somebody, they'd be G in it, real talk. You know what I'm saying? I, like I said, I, 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 I got a, I, I fuck with uh, I feel like I got, I'm one of the few niggas I know out of all the music I listen to that possess the talent and, 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 the, and the mentality to have the kind of success that people they had in the game. A lot of niggas might feel like that, but I'm not really a peon, dog. I ain't the type of nigga to kiss nigga ass, be up on me no more. Everybody you want to put me in the boot with. Guarantee I can hold my own. So, uh, that's pretty much it, man. This blog, man, is pretty much about uh, what happens to labels or artists when their projects don't do the numbers that's generally suggested that they're supposed to do. And then we also make, I make a quick reference to why they don't do what they're supposed to do. Most recent project to come out this week was uh, the Maybach Music uh, Rick Ross Presents Self Made, which is Peel, Meek Mill, Wale, and Rick Ross. Well, let's go back for a second. Wale's last album has been 130,000 units to date. He was under Jay Z's management and he was signed to Interscope. He had received like a 1.4 million, I think it was a 1.4 million dollar deal when he signed with Interscope. He had a big, he had a big, big outbreak. He had label support. And, you know, he branched off to down south by doing records such as No Hands with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, Walker Flocker Flame. Shouts out to Walker. I would, there's no fucking way in the hell I would have left Jay-Z's management to sign with Rick Ross if the situation is as I view it. Now, that don't fucking mean that I, I could not know what the fuck I'm talking about. This is just my opinion. I just feel like Wale left Jay-Z's management. He had a situation with Interscope. Now he, he's Maybach. And now the Maybach music album is out. And Wale's album did 28 or 29,000 units, I think, the first week it dropped. The new Maybach album did 20. I mean, fifty nine thousand. So it with four. So if I can do move one hundred and thirty thousand units, and maybe it just did eighteen thousand a second week, it's fair to say it's gonna take them two months or two and a half months to do what Wale did on his album by himself. There's four niggas in this group, and the main guy of this group is a gold artist. Uh, as far as Ross is concerned. I like Ross from a, I like True and Port of Miami was Rick Ross's best album for me. Like from there I feel kind of like, but you know everybody has an opinion man, so it's not like I'm hating. I just feel like the first two albums was the shit. The second, the last one, you know the third one, it was kind of like an R&B album to me. The fourth one was whatever, whatever, and the fifth one, uh, if it is a fifth one, is whatever. The Triple C album did do well. And I mean, I just feel like these guys aren't taking the time to put a lot of money in the market and promoting the product that they put out. 
So to answer questions, man, when you somebody like I'm using, I'm gonna use Maybach because I don't want to use up all my time. But when you somebody who I'm pretty sure that they spent a lot of money on marketing and promotion, but I don't think a lot of money was spent on branding. And when you spend a lot of, and when you when you work in a product and you're trying to put a lot of money into it, the label may ship out. Let's say you think you're gonna move a hundred thousand first week, label ship out a hundred, two hundred, three hundred thousand units, and you don't got damn move, but. 30% of the product, or, or, or you move 40, 50,000 albums, shit, and you the only act that dropped that week. In this particular scenario, you know, great release dates are based around if you a big act that can get a release date where you the only act dropping in that week, yeah, that's what I consider a good release date. And with Ross, it's like that shit came out and had their own release date, but, ain't, but the shit didn't materialize because. They didn't promote it. Most niggas in the game don't know who PL is. They don't know PL from that line. Philly knows Meek Mill, but most niggas don't. Wale is known. You know what I'm saying? But the group is not branded. I mean, you know, you look at you got the whole new camp on this compilation. And hell, most niggas don't even know who the fuck Triple C's is. And that's not this, and that's just saying that if you a group and you pushing a new group, People don't even know the whole your whole squad yet. That's not helping. So me personally, I think what happens when guys don't push their project or they don't focus on marketing. Hey. Okay. They hurt. They hurt their campaign in general, and it hurts them as artists. So I just think that people need to focus more on marketing. I do a part two on this, man, because it takes a little bit more time for me to dig in on this. I don't know.